so it has been a rough two months y'all we're back at the hospital um jerry started complaining of pain beneath his belly button like an hour ago and it just got progressively worse like he could barely walk so he's just in a lot of pain how are you feeling honey Clearly, you're not fine. Mm -hmm. Want to explain anything? It just hurts. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. So, y'all don't know my son. <laughs> He's very, like, doesn't complain. He pushes through all that stuff. So, when he complains, it's something like for real. So, um, I've never seen him like this. So, hopefully we get answers soon. I mean, we're gonna have to because he can barely walk. So, <sighs> yeah, y'all, it's been a, a rough two months of like health issues with the kids. <clears throat> As you can see, I still kind of have a cough, but. Stop drinking my drink. Man, she's so annoying. Nobody told me a wife could be annoying. I thought a wife was supposed to be like just just pleasant and just just such a, a great experience every day of my life. That's a lie. They didn't tell me this part. You're super blessed actually. I'm super what? Blessed to be even walking right next to me. Why do you think this is your world and I just live in it? Why? Yo, help me. I'm taking them to go get dessert and then... <laughs> I'm bringing my own dessert. Wallet, please. Bruh, this is all marriage is right here. What Jordan just said. Wallet, please. Uh, no. For those that maybe didn't see previous vlogs, I had pneumonia for like over a month. And um, <clears throat> it's pretty much all gone, I feel like. But you I just have a, have a cough. lingering cough, and it's been literally, it's been almost, like an, um, almost two months, but it was really scary. My oxygen was really low. I was in and out of the hospital. I couldn't breathe. They gave me oxygen. I had an inhaler. I was on a steroid. I was on an antibiotic. You got IVs. I got IVs. Like, I have never, I don't think I've ever had pneumonia like that. Like, it was never like that. Like, I had a fever for like eight, nine days of over 103 like it was it was uh, like ask the, ask the whole family but no but she hasn't really been sick at I all this it. year so it's the first one yeah. so it hit her like a ton of bricks and it came from this one right here <laughs> mr jerry who came home coughing and and he was coughing up a lung for like two weeks yeah and that was the and that's the oh, crazy thing too he was also he hasn't been usually it's me and him that gets sick a lot he hasn't either. That was his first time no, sick, sick in a, like once or twice. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. You haven't been sick in like a couple years. But it didn't last that long. But this was the first time that he, in a while, that he's been sick for. I mean, it was he missed like yeah. two weeks of dance for sure, and like he no was out. one one week in one day. No, it was like a week and a half. You were sick for at least twelve days, and then you still recovered. And see, the thing is. My wife, she would never give me credit because I do have a history of being really, really bad with sick people around me. Yeah, you not sensitive at all. I used to be worse. Ooh, my Amazon package came. I've matured and I've grown to be better at reacting to sick people around me, especially my sick family members. Keyword better, but not... Mm. Right in a minute, right, stop right there. Okay, what, what is Progress. ideal? what is ideal to you? She wants doctor hospital level type of concern and bedside manner. You guys, I could be literally collapsed we go. on it's the about floor to be something exaggerated. for like several hours. And okay, all you gotta know. do is get up. He would never know. You have to get up. Me. You just have to get <laughs> up. He doesn't like, check on me. Why do I have to check on you when you can do it yourself? When I'm, why would you check on me when I'm literally if you're on the floor. Fever. What does that mean? It's over I 100 degrees outside. What does that mean? <laughs> it's different when it, you're, it's in your body. Your it's body your is 98.7 degrees. Mm -hmm. 103 is no big deal. 
All you have to do is go get some ice cubes, go get a slushy, oh and cool your body off. Yeah, let's talk about you. Okay, I wish something would happen to me. I will show you how it's done. <coughs> See, that's the type of cough that I still have, but it's nothing. Like, but fine. wouldn't you agree, you want bedside manner. No. She loves service at a high level, hospital no. level, a nurse, a doctor. She wants house, everyone. And like Bruh. feeding, it's like feeding the dog's feet, like feeding grapes while you're in the hospital. Even though yes, Jordan, that's what that's I'm what Jordan's mommy wants. Opinion. She wants grapes fed I'm to her. Jordan's opinion because Jordan was upset that you left and had boy time for hours on end, and I was. Hey, we had fun though. Me had and Jerry had fun. We were swimming time. in the pool. Yeah. Yeah. We were at a mansion yeah. party. We were watching a, a UFC fight. We were jumping on a trampoline doing front flips. <laughs> no, I know Jordan was mad, but what they got to do with what I'm talking about? You're saying she yeah, has better too. better bedside manner than me. Way better. Okay, what's different other than just being up Way your butt better. the whole time? She wasn't up my butt though. Whole That's all you want though. But then Dorn got sick like you Look, later, so. my wife is very, no, you're dramatic. She's gaslighting me. He black. My wife likes to project onto me that, oh, I'm dramatic. When she wants me to check on her every five minutes. Would you admit that you're needy? No. Would you admit that you're spoiled? Yeah. This woman has super high expectations when she's sick. She turned into a baby for real. Let me know down below if you understand, if you have some compassion for me. Because as a man, I'm expected to just do whatever and take everything. Meanwhile, you food. You have nothing else that you have to take? No. Oh, how did you sleep last night? Not good. Why? Because you didn't rub my head See, in my back. it's always me. You blame me for everything. <laughs> Why do you have to blame me for everything? Hey, who did you marry me for? It's me to be a punching bag. Do you love me? See? Just answer the question, okay? Please don't play with me right now. Let them know. Do you love me? It's just a simple yes or no question. Stockholm Syndrome, y'all. Look it up. Do you love up. me? Stockholm Syndrome. Do you love Jerry me? Jerry Levine Jr. suffers from Stockholm Syndrome. Gosh. I love a woman that a takes woman. advantage of it. Oh. Excuse and me. And abuses it. Oh, yeah? And just uses me. Hmm. She rides me like a rented mule. <laughs>